Do you want to get yourself a hacker police officer look in-game? Well, Manco.store is a good place to purchase those items. Quick delivery, low commissions, easy to navigate, check it out if you're interested. Good day everybody, it is your favorite servant of the law, Officer Verobsky, and welcome to a new episode of Hacker Police. Yeah, we did not make wait that long with this one, unfortunately, because we got lucky. Uh, Varabir recorded some evidence against the hacker absolutely randomly while he was working on a different video again. And when I checked the recordings... Oh man... <sighs> These comebacks never fucking learn. If you're new to the channel, by the way, first of all, glad to see you around and hope you're having a nice day. And we'll try our best to make it even better. Secondly, so, you know, the hacker police series are about hackers, obviously, but it is a bit more than that. It is mostly about script kiddos getting fucked. Our goal is not showcasing some random cheaters from random servers and explaining how cheats work. What we do is we always try to make fun of them, so you all can have some laughs and those cheaters feel ashamed about themselves. With that said, today's episode will be about a cocky weep spy main that enabled his cheats after getting destroyed by Varabe. What happened next? You'll figure this out very soon. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you'll enjoy this video. There are plenty of other videos already and more to come, so we'll be very happy to have you joining the vibe. And now, let's get into the recordings. Everything started when Varabe was playing yet another high tower server. Why does he play this map that much? Anyway, he was recording a gun spy video. Let's begin here. He's not dead. He's gonna go for that health pack. Yes, there is another spy behind me. That's a lot of spies already. <laughs> this spy gotta die. He just gotta... Finally. Man, it sucks so much I don't have a killstreak revolver. <laughs> There's somebody already mad in the chat. Why is he not mad at me? Well... Yet. I wonder who he is. It's him. He's a trolder. Yeah, he always gotta be a fucking trolder that is pissed at someone. Well, guess what? Honestly, these are two types of people that complain the most. Friendlies and trolders. When they're dying to something, especially to Dire Hit. They complain about it a lot. That's how it goes in this game. And of course, since it's Hightower... Oh. He switched to a directed soldier himself. Alright. That is even better. You can't hide from me. Not even with the dead rib Holy fuck! What is that pistol? Yeah. Epic epic revolver memes. I'm the gun spy. I'm the meme alive. Oh god. It destroys! It slaps! The pyro now. Thank you, soldier. I got only five bullets left. And I'm missing them all. Oh. Okay. Never fucking mind. Oh! Fucking hell, he hits that. <laughs> he was aiming that shot for so long. God damn it, that is my first death. That's how I die. To Dragon's Fury. Feels so bad. Why did I read that as a voice of some really old man, you know, waving his fucking hand? <laughs> damn you, gun spy! I can definitely feel how slow it is right now, so... Yeah. I gotta clean it up a bit more often. Oh shit! He can survive it, right? Even with the Dead Ringer! Let's see. Is he, is he gonna survive that? No, no, he's dead. Surprise, motherfucker! Alright, he was on top. Hopefully he's not using Dead Ringer because two Dead Ringer spies is gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> you can safely chase me up the stairs. What the fuck? <laughs> it's another one of those. Who just, you know, runs in into people. Oh, come on! Stop moving like you have some fucking Parkinson's. 
he almost fucking tree stead me. I did not even see him. You gotta be. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. That was pretty good, but also a little bit weird. A little bit weird indeed. If we slow down this clip, you can see that that spy isn't even looking out of the window, but he still manages to get a headshot from the ambassador somehow. He peeks for about a few milliseconds and hits it, and then a body shot follow up. Kind of suspicious, but it is definitely not enough. Oh yeah. Did I just seriously kill that guy? <laughs> I love when this happens. It's so bullshit, but so good at the same time. Oh man, random crits. He just landed four headshots in a row. Four perfect headshots. Two on that soldier, two on me. I'm not sure what to say about that one yet. Let us see. <laughs> Do you see what's happening? I have a feeling I made this idiot turn his aimbot on. Not even fucking joking. We gotta make sure though. We gotta make sure. Because, you know, he was not really hitting that many shots and now he does. He missed that one. I don't know. I don't know what to say yet. There's nothing to say here other than he's a cheater. It's now pretty obvious since all of those shots are almost impossible for a human to hit, especially this one. He can't know where Verabe is, but he still peeks around the corner and immediately lands a headshot. This right here is a 100% proof that we're dealing with a mad cheater. And he did in fact toggle his cheats on only on Verabe, since as Voro says, he barely headshot other players, or barely used ambassador against them. And then, a bit sooner, something happens. He duels me. Should we accept it or not? Yeah, let's do it. Also worth mentioning, yeah, I checked his profile. He was backbanned in Corner Strike. Not in TF2, but he got backbanned in Corner Strike, but you, you know, you know. And he's going this way. Yeah, two perfect headshots again. <laughs> two perfect ones. Let's see if he's gonna miss any shots on me. That's him. Fucking dire head. And another headshot. I'm taking this. I don't even care that you don't know over there. I'm taking this. I gotta find a vaccinator medic on this server, but the problem is I'm playing from my fake account. Nobody knows that I'm Voto fucking Bay, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see that shit? I jumped. I jumped into the fucking air. There is no way he was supposed to hit that. No fucking way. He's cheating. He's cheating and he's probably toggling it only on me. Only on me, dude. He's missing shots on other people, but on me he's hitting all the fucking headshots. Every single one. Yeah, absolutely not suspicious. Did you seriously just die to me? <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> wow. Okay, let's win this shit. The problem is, my team is not gonna cap. We need a pocket mat. With a vaccinator. With bullet resistance. That's the way to deal with him. I mean, there's no way I, I'm gonna win this if I just take this fight, because he's gonna be hitting those headshots like nothing. Oh, there he was. He was behind. Fuck, I got baited by another spy. Hey guys, can anybody go vaccinator medic, please? And pocket me. For the memes. 
But really, I think the top scorer in their team is hacking. And he's dueling me with Ambassador and using Aimblood, I'm pretty sure. And I want to slap him. I think I explained it properly, but I'm not sure anybody is even gonna reply. <laughs> ah, there is a medic. He's Russian. In the bottom of the scoreboard. Where is he? Nice. Alright, one medic is actually going to pocket me. <laughs> now the chances are equal. Too bad he's not using Vaccinator. Wait, he didn't even... He stopped playing fucking Spy. He's Demo Man now. I'm just gonna kill him a few times as a scout to equalize the score, and I'm gonna switch to Spy, don't worry about it. I just have to do it, alright? I just have to. He did switch to Scout. He did fucking switch to... <sighs> He's so mad. This guy is so fucking mad. <laughs> oh, boy. He's using Force of Nature, by the way. The Australian one. Going heavy. Oh, two perfect shots on heavy. Going soldier. Five five. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're doing it. And guess what? He's gonna fucking switch to sniper right now. He's gonna switch to sniper the next life. Watch, let me disguise as a, as a medic first, and then as soon as he responds, I'm gonna disguise as a sniper. And if it is gonna show his name down there, he's a sniper. He's a fucking sniper, man. He has no idea that I'm a spy. I mean, he, he does have an idea that I'm a spy. He's a fucking cheater, right? <laughs> he sees me through walls and shit. Let's go far away. Oh, oh. Yeah. Why did you go over here? Why did you? I'm just asking. I'm just wondering, my man. Alright, guys, can somebody please go vaccinate a medic right now, please? For a few minutes. I'll pay you heads, please. <laughs> I need to kill that guy. The Shiro guy in the top score. He's cheating. Thanks, dude. He's a sniper, by the way. Alright, now it's all the matter of trying to find him. I'm actually gonna switch the class real quick, just follow me. Original, I need my original. I got him. Yeah, now they can cap! <laughs> now they can cap! <laughs> uh, my team is gonna stop them there. What is this lame shit? <laughs> what is he gonna play now, though? Is he gonna go soldier? He's gonna be really, really stressed right now because there's not really that much time left. They can cap any point now, so... He gotta figure something out. He's a scout. He's a scout now, dude. They gotta cap. They gotta fucking cap. Please, dude. Oh, he's there. He dies! gonna get back <laughs> there we go there we go yeah he's pissed as fuck oh where's my doc where's my doc just my five cents here you moron are playing with cheats with wall hack aimbot and only god knows what else you can't talk about unfair game at all at all. The moment you start saying any of this, you look so fucking embarrassing. Not only you cheat, but you can't even beat someone who is not cheating. This generally disgusts me. You are disgusting. Stop. Yeah, I mean, I killed him five times without my medic on me. That's, that's truth. <laughs> that's truth. <laughs> changing classes again. I was not changing classes! Where the fucking spy duel and you changed the class to Demonite!
and then I found you. Yeah, but you fucking killed me. You switched the class first, like, that is not an excuse that I had to switch the class because there was another Demonite. I didn't care about any Demonites, I, I kept playing Spy. Come on, play the game. I am playing the game. What is that? He ran out of arguments? Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> he fucking attacks me in the chat and then he like, okay, come on, play the game. Stop with it, right? Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go. This Vexen animatic is so cute. Now get get out of here. Oh my fucking god. Now he started hitting everybody right around the corner immediately. Can you not? Yeah, use it again. He gets fucked! <laughs> I can't... Oh, fuck. Now they got a cap. Now they got a cap to win this game. But we have an advantage, so... He has a pocket medic now, too. Uh, pocket medic as well. A vaccinator one sitting on him. Yeah. He called his butt friend. <laughs> Look at this. I'm gonna try to trick him. He thinks I went this way, but I'm here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, get him, at least someone. Get him! Nice, nice! Good job, dude! Yeah, now I'm winning. Now I'm not gonna peek at all. Fuck it. I'm staying in spawn. <laughs> and now he complains about going medic. <laughs> So yeah, I already told you that I, I saw this guy a few times on pub service already before this and uh, he was also playing Spy and I didn't really find anything suspicious until this happened. This is his second account because in the previous one he got back banned. Uh, a bit more detailed information from what I be. Uh, he says that after he checked this cheater's profile he realized that he had played with him before, multiple times, on Hightower. Our cheater also loves Hightower a lot, yeah. Uh, and almost every time they played together, the guy was kind of chill and friendly and was not really suspicious. He was extra friendly to Varabe, especially because once he appeared on his stream and even came into the chat. The only sus thing that he did, though, was Pan. He played Demo Pan. And almost every Pan hit was a crit. Voro kind of paid attention to it, but since he didn't have enough evidence, he let it pass. But now, it's safe to say that our kid also uses crit hacks. I'm mentioning all of this to show you how easy it is to hurt a cheater's ego. As soon as there is someone playing better on the server and challenging him, his attitude changes completely. We'll discuss it later. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah, I want it. I want it. <laughs> oh, shit. Hacker Police Episode 3 in common. Yeah. For sure. This guy's so fucking sad. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot for helping. I'm genuinely appreciated for that. Well, these people are so kind, honestly. Like, uh, I don't think they help me just because I'm a fucking YouTuber or some shit, but they're actually doing the right thing. We're slapping this idiot. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Just as always. Oh, okay, final stage. Final stage of retardation. Call me out for MGE. Yay! Oh, he's a scout now. And now he's sticky spamming. And there he is, and he dies again. Last time, he's gonna get domed, and that's gonna be over for this video. Where is he? He 
he's not even here. He ran away! He ran the fuck away! Oh no, he was hiding. He ran away from us, he knew I had one kill away from a domination, so he decided to hide and spawn and then just run somewhere. Sadly, I did not find him, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode of Hacker Police. It was not supposed to be a Hacker Police video <laughs> from the start. I actually switched my nickname and avatar, rejoined the server. He's still on the server, but he's right there, dead, like he didn't even pick the class. <laughs> I think he just got depression. This is all the evidence and gameplay that was recorded, but gameplay aside, there are still some things that are worth a discussion. So the hero of today's video is a lot different from the previous ones. It seems that he does a really good job of hiding his cheats in the beginning and kinda chills on all the servers, maybe bullies some random pubbers while turning crit hacks or aimbot on from time to time, like he did with the demo pan. But overall, he's being nice to others, and all the people's comments on both of his profiles say the same. And yet again, as Varabe stated, he was being very friendly every time they played together. He did not focus anyone, was kinda social with other players, which of course makes it a lot more difficult for anyone to suspect him of cheating. And you might wanna say, hmm, maybe he's not that bad of a person, right? Wrong. A problem acquires, as you could see already, as soon as there is someone on the same server playing better than our guy. One of the only based comments in his profile is from this player that probably also destroyed him. Minus rep keeps being racist, does not accept it when someone is better than him, keeps being toxic, get a life, delete your comments, fucking clown with cheats. Three set brackets. Moisei, by the way, is a decent player and has a functioning brain. Uh, Voro also met him lots of times on high tower servers, he knows his shit. Uh, yes, I guess it is pretty difficult to accept that you got destroyed in a game and even cheats did not help you. It does not matter how chill this idiot tries to act, because as soon as you challenge him, his real personality reveals itself. And what we have in reality is yet another sore loser that cheats on public service against a bunch of poor pubbers, because without cheats, he wouldn't even do anything to them. He boosts his ego at the expense of the weak. To me, this is as bad as hurting helpless little animals. You know, there are some fucked up individuals that can hurt an animal for fun because they know this animal can't fight back. Cheating on a pub server is almost the same. But as soon as there is someone like Varabe on the server that distracts our idiot from tickling his self-esteem, he gets mad. He gets mad exponentially. Every single kill that Voro gets on him hurts his ego so much that he has to cheat blandly when before he was trying to hide it. And the moment he decides to duel and realizes that he's about to lose it, I don't even know what's going through his head. First he goes full denial mode saying, no, you did not win, and then tries to find millions of reasons why he's better. He even drops a call out for MGE. Just imagine, 1v1 fight with cheats. After dying a few more times after the duel, he decides to hide somewhere to not get dominated. He's not FK, he actually hides. And then, when the game is over, he does not even bother disconnecting. He just leaves TF2 running and probably goes crying into his waifu pillow. The end. This is gonna be it for today's episode of Hacker Police. Hope you people enjoyed this one, make sure to check two previous episodes and some other videos on this channel, feel free to leave a like and comment and surely subscribe. Help us getting 50k subscribers till the end of the month, this is literally the best thing you can do to support this series. And jump into our Discord server, the link to it is down in the description. It was Officer Vrobsky, see you in the next episode everyone, and always remember, cheating is for pussies. Peace.